So we have some time lapse video we want to show you from our 12 News roof cam. So you can see kind of an unusual cloud formation for us just after one this afternoon. And this is actually looking down towards the Tempe area from downtown. And you can see those dark clouds moving in that, you know, a column of rain in the back there and then the kind of a rotation. So this is a very powerful storm. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley has more on exactly what we're looking at there. And again, Lindsay, this microburst. This heavy rain out in the East Valley, very damaging. Very damaging. So yes, we had a microburst confirmed from the National Weather Service. We had a mesocyclone, which is why we actually saw some rotation, broad rotation within those clouds and a shelf cloud, which means the leading edge of the storm of the thunderstorm uh, was producing 60 and 70 mile per hour winds. We had a 71 mile per hour gust about two miles north of the ASU campus and out at Sky Harbor, we saw a gust of 63 miles per hour. Now this is an image that we don't typically show on the air, but this is a velocity image areas in red. That is air moving toward the radar or actually away from the radar and green is toward the radar. And you can see this couplet here, which indicates rotation. So you did see that mesocyclone, that broad rotation as a rotating updraft within the thunderstorm. As for the microburst, how that happens, you have dry air that is being pulled into the thunderstorm. Then it evaporates. That creates some cooling, hence evaporational cooling. As that becomes cool and a little bit heavier, the updraft can no longer suspend that cooler air and it falls. Gravity takes it down to the ground and winds with a microburst can be up to 150 miles per hour. But as you saw today, we had those winds in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range and a whole lot of damage in the vicinity of that microburst. Troy. All right, Lindsay, thank you. That's a good explanation.